the original Rocky movie where Rocky Balboa got his shot at glory when Apollo Creed was looking through a fighter's directory. This fight came about when Mark DeMori answered David Hayes' call on Twitter. The man nicknamed the Dominator, the man who has characterized himself as the B-side of the equation, as the man who is here supposedly as a stepping stone for David Hay, has made his way through the arena and stepped through the strands where he is receiving a rather hostile reception from this capacity crowd here at the O2 Arena in London. David Hayes' hometown, remember. BJ Flores, what do you make of his demeanor? Um, Mark has come in very focused today. He was focused yesterday. He's been focused for this entire camp. He told us at the, at the meeting. So, you know, I look for him to be focused, but I, I think simply, Ronald, it's a different league right now. So Mark's going to have to do something to unseat David Hay early in this fight and maybe change the complexion of this fight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after a long three and a half years, please welcome to the ring two weight world champion, the Haymaker, David from the locker room and towards the boxing ring for the first time in three and a half years. A look of focus in the eyes, a quick rinse of the gum shield from his new trainer, Shane McGuigan. And if that surname sounds familiar, that's because he's the son of Hall of Famer Barry McGuigan, the former WBA featherweight champion of the world. And for what it's worth, McGuigan Sr. has been watching Hay in training and has given the haymaker his seal of approval bigger than ever and just as fast and sharp and powerful as he was before. That's McGuigan's assessment, but Hay has it all to prove in the boxing ring. It's a remix of his familiar ring walk anthem, McFadden and Whitehead ain't no stopping us now. And look at the smile that is spread across the lips of the former two-way world champion as he steps back into the O2 arena for the third time in his career. Steps back into a boxing arena for the first time in three and a half years. And he's very much a love in here. The place is packed to the rafters and he is singing as he makes his way to the ring. This is just a stone throw from where he grew up in Bermondsey and he is sauntering his way towards the ropes arena, enjoying every step. I love the fact, Ronald, that David Hay has taken his time. He's waited three and a half years for this moment. He's ready to get in that ring, but not too much of a rush, really soaking up the love the fans are showing him right now. Well, the tectonic plates of the mountainous heavyweight landscape have undergone a seismic shift since David Hay last stepped into the boxing ring. The iron grip that Dr. Steelhammer Vladimir Klitschko used to shackle the titles to Germany for so long, that was broken by a brilliant performance by Tyson Fury, shifting the balance of power to Britain. Olympic champion Anthony Joshua, he's undefeated as a professional and rising rapidly through the heavyweight ranks. Deontay Wilder, America's last male Olympic medalist after picking up a medal in Beijing. He's defending his WBC title tonight. And that is the landscape that David Hay is stepping back into. He feels he's got the beating of all of them, but he hasn't delivered a punch in anger for three and a half years. Into the boxing ring, taking up residence in the blue corner. 
and the applause continues to cascade down from every seat in this Oso Arena that is filled to the rafters here on the banks of the River Thames. This is the type of atmosphere, Ronald, that every fighter wants to be a part of and being present here at the O2 Arena right now with all these fans going crazy over their loved heavyweight. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens in these next couple months because there's a lot of excitement in the UK in the heavyweight division right now. Well, let's take a look at the tail of the tape between David the Haymaker Hay and the dominator Mark Demore. David Hay, a well-documented 35 years of age, slightly taller. He's coming at the heaviest weight of his career, but still, the broad, barrel-chested Mark Demore is the heavier man. Both boxers operating out of the orthodox stance. Both of them have healthy knockout percentages as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of David Hayes, Haymaker Promotions and Salter Brothers Entertainment, you are all very welcome here to Heyday in association with the O2 London and sponsored by the Intercontinental Hotel IM360, Kaiser Gym Equipment and Global Eye International Wealth Solutions. This is 10 three-minute runs of international heavyweight boxing and all our officials ringside are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Our supervisor, Mr. Mick Collier, is alongside Mr. Robert Smith and our three scoring judges. From Reading, Mr. Jeff Hines. From Gillingham, Mr. Ian John Lewis. From Twickenham, Mr. Marcus McDonnell. On the bell, our timekeeper from Ricelip, Mr. Peter McCann. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action from Watford, Mr. Bob Williams. And so, ladies and gentlemen, for the 16,000 in attendance here at ringside, and for those watching on Dave and around the world, the officials are ready. The boxers are ready. Are you ready for the main event? In the red corner, winning black with red trim, alongside head trainer, two times Olympian, Mario Sevalla. At the weigh-in, he scaled 17 stone, five pounds, eight ounces, 243 US pounds. His record, an impressive one. 30 wins from 33 contests, 26 wins inside the distance, only one defeat, two draws. Former WBU Germany champion, former World Boxing Foundation heavyweight champion, undefeated since 2004, ranked number 10 in the world with the WBA from Perth, Western Australia, the Dominator, Mark Demore. And in the blue corner, with head trainer Shane McGuigan, wearing white shorts with gold, on the scales, 16 stone, three pounds, five ounces, 227 US pounds. From 28 contests, 26 wins, 24 wins coming by way of knockout. The former undisputed WBA, WBC, WBO, and Ring Magazine Cruiserweight World Champion. The former WBA heavyweight champion of the world making a welcome return to the ring after a three and a half year hiatus from Bermondsey, London, England, the Haymaker, David Hay.
come on. Okay, lads, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. After three and a half years out of the ring, there's no doubt that David Hay will be rested. But how quickly can he shed the ring rest that will have inevitably accumulated during that time? We're about to find out in this heavyweight contest scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds. David Hay squares off against Mark Damori. So here we go then. The heavyweight return of David Hay is underway. This heavyweight main event bout scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds. And immediately, David Hay is on the front foot, the former two-weight world champion, wearing predominantly white trunks trimmed with gold and black. So important this first round, Ronald. Both guys going to go out and try to establish a couple things. David looking to establish his jab. Just barely missed that right hand there, but looks very loose here in the first part of this first round. Mark DeMurray trying a speculative overhand right, just got behind the left hand of David Hay. David Hay with that familiar wide-legged stance, stalking his man, and already has got through with a good one-two combination. Mark DeMurray said that he's going to try and lure Hay into his power zone, but already he's being hit with heavy leather to both head and body. That right hand hurt him, Ronald. He set it up with a hook. Mark DeMurray reached up to catch the shot. David came with a straight right and definitely rattled him there. Still taking his time and looking, but uh, not a good start for DeMurray. Got to let his hands go. David Hay, well, his timing just a little bit awry on that occasion, and that's one of the questions we want to find out during the course of this heavyweight return. Through a right hand and missed rather badly his momentum carrying him toward the turnbuckle in the neutral corner just above us and again you can see the tactics of mark demori launching that speculative right hand he's just taken another hard right hand to the rib cage and already the man from western australia is on the retreat his hands are rather low and that could prevent it present an inviting target for a puncher as quick and as dynamic as Hay. Very inviting, Ronald. He's got to give David Hay something to look at. He can't let him just walk right in, because if he does, he's going to take some heavy artillery. He's taking some right now again. The rib cage being rattled, the head being shaken. And now, Damari nodding his head and waving David Hay on. And he obliges with a big left hook that sends him back to the ropes. And he's standing stock still. Not a good place to be against a dynamite puncher such as David Hay. You may as well sign up to face a firing squad at dawn. rapturous reception on this his ring return which has proved to be a victorious one but he was oh so brief Mark Damari not making it out of the first round David Hay racking up another knockout and you saw how he did it. he had Damari in that corner Damari put his earmuffs on David said okay I'm gonna let you come out of your shell I'm gonna coax you out Damari shoots a slow jab David comes over the top of the right hand and knocks him spark out Ronald he's uh he's in bad shape over there he is indeed still in bad shape. There's Cam Nackby, there's Ruben Tabares, and Shane McGuigan alongside David Hay. But Mark Damori still receiving attention from the medics. There's his train trainer, Mario Savolia. So the doctor's just ensuring that everything is okay with Mark Damori after, after absorbing those heavy punches that sent him to the canvas. And of course, the safety of the boxers is of paramount importance. And great victory for David. Of course, we hope Mark Demore is okay. They're tending him now. But very exciting to have David Hay back in the heavyweight division. You know, this guy, he's always had power. He's always had speed. But now he's got a new founded size. He's 16 stone, 3 pounds. And uh, this creates a very interesting element in the heavyweight division because with David Hay's new size, it makes him a, a very good match for anybody. So still, Mark Demore receiving attention. The stall's being placed close to him now, so that suggests he's going to be helped to that stall. And that he's breathing and moving okay. And he's up on his feet, Mark Damari, which is good to see. And now a sporting embrace between the two combatants, but you can see there 
oxygen being administered. He's OK, he's been retreated back to his red corner. But let's just take a look at the manner in which this contest was finished by David Hay. And David Hay had him in the corner. You see Mark DeMore push out that little soft jab. David followed him back with the overhand right. He was out before he hit the ground, Ronald, but David put the finishing combinations on it after that. It was academic. Mark was already out. And, uh, you know, good timing and good precision by a heavyweight who went up almost a full stone, who apparently was maybe going to be a little slower based on what we saw at the weigh-in. But very nice reflexes and great precision punching by David Hay. More good stuff. You see him putting that measure out there, just trying to bait Demore to do something, and the plan worked to full effect. Nice left uppercut on his way down, and that's something David Hayes always done very well. When he gets his man hurt, he likes to get him out of there. And that was a moment of celebration, immediately climbing the turnbuckle, and then hoisted aloft by his trainer, Shane McGuigan. The atmosphere, a celebratory one here at the O2 Arena. David Hay making a successful ring return stopping Mark DeMori in the opening round of this heavyweight contest that was scheduled for 10. All smiles on the face of David Hay. Not quite sure what we've learned during the course of that contest, but he, he was most certainly back as he's telling the crowd right there, and that means he feels he's back in this exciting heavyweight mix. And you know what the people are going to demand after seeing a knockout like that? Bring on Joshua, bring on Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury said, I'm not going to have any of David Hay, but Anthony Joshua and David Hay, I mean, you can't help but imagine about those types of matchups coming up in the next upcoming months. It's just so exciting uh, in this UK territory. So David Hay basking in the applause after producing a decisive, emphatic first-round knockout victory. We're going to head for a break, but don't go anywhere. Stay with us here on Dave. We'll be back for further analysis and interviews after this short break. We are back at the O2 Arena in London where David Hay is continuing to bask in the applause after producing a sensational first round victory over the ultimately overmatched Mark Demori. Let's head up and get the official announcement from MC Craig Stephen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, referee Bob Williams will bring both boxers to the center of the ring. And before we declare the result, it takes great courage to step into a boxing ring, not least at heavyweight. Please show your appreciation for both our boxers in the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes and 11 seconds into round number one. Referee Mr. Williams dispenses with the count. The winner by technical count out. He's back, the haymaker, David A. And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation all the way from Australia, Mark DeMori. So these are the images that will be captured for posterity and put all over publications and websites and newspapers around the world now. Not quite sure what message this has sent to the rest of the heavyweight division, BJ Floyd, because it was so quick. But what we most certainly know is that David Hay is still packs plenty of punch as a heavyweight, as this new heaviest poundage ever heavyweight, but we didn't really learn that much else. I think we learned that he's carrying the weight well. He came out nice and loose before he landed in the knockout punch. Remember, he was relaxed in there, kind of swatting away everything Mark did and just taking his time, and that's what I really liked out of what I saw. He wasn't in a rush tonight, and uh, because of that, the knockout came. Sometimes when you force the knockout, it won't happen. Well, David Hay is now standing by 
with Paul Dempsey. Let's hear from the man who has just made a successful ring return. David Hay is with Paul Dempsey. Thank you, Ron. First, what about the reception you've had in London tonight? Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. I'd like to thank each and every fan who's come out tonight. You know, yeah, a lot of people, uh, I assumed, would kind of give up on me with, uh, with my uh, physical state in the last few years. But the fact that everyone's come out and really supported me, and it's been a tough, tough road. I'm finally back. I'm, I feel I'm better than I've ever been. I'm punching harder than ever. You know, Damori, tough guy. And, you know, as soon as the power was there, I felt so cool and calm in there. I don't believe any heavyweight on the planet could take those punches. Steady on, it's only night one. What about the shoulder? Is it okay? Did, how did it look to you? It looked pretty useful. It's, it, it feels better than it, it was before. Genuinely, I'm punching harder now than I was before. I spent, you know, two years literally rehabbing this shoulder, building all the muscles around my rotator cuff. And it, I'm so strong now. I'm hitting harder than I've ever hit before. And uh, I just believe this new, this new and improved version of me will go on and uh, win, win heavyweight championships. What was it like to be back in the ring on fight night? It, it felt so comfortable. It felt like home. It really felt. I walked out. I had no nerves whatsoever. I just, I was just looking, thinking, this, this is where I belong. This is where I need to. I need to live in this, in this auditorium, in this environment. I need to live here. And um, you know, people have. Uh, you know, I'm going to share a big, big thanks to uh, you know, a very close friend of mine, Maz, who unfortunately couldn't be here, and uh, Tim Boswell also couldn't be here. Yeah, Rebecca from the. O2 Arena uh, really made this uh, assisted, you know, Team Haymaker, the Sorter Brothers, everybody, the whole of Team Haymaker coming together and really put on a fantastic night of uh, entertainment and I, and I really hope everybody enjoyed it. OK, enough of David Hay, the promoter for the moment. Let's get ba back to David Hay, the fighter. Look again at your own work. Oh, see, I'm looking forward to seeing this. OK, I can see, here you go, the slip right hand. Once, uh, yeah. It was just letting clusters of punches go in... in, in there you go. That shot was enough. He was gone there, but just a few other ones just to, for good measure to send him on his way. I can't see any heavyweight taking that type of uh, abuse, genuinely. Who could take those shots for, for 10 rounds? I can't see it. I'm not, easy, I'm not an easy guy to hit also. So how would someone go about beating that? I, I, I can't see it. I'm just looking forward to getting in there again. You know, this guy, try and get someone tougher, try and get someone maybe taller, someone a bit awkward. No, I just want to keep, I want to, I want to be regular, I want to get back in the ring as soon as possible and just keep testing myself and work up the ranking so I can uh, get, get a title fight. The new look, David Hay, with what, uh, better part of 17 pounds of extra weight coming into the ring tonight. How, do you like that better? You I, were 15 I, stone yeah, against known, Chisora and Klitschko. I've before this fight. Normally I'm, I'm, I'm boiling down, getting close to the, uh, uh, trying to get to as close to 15 stone as possible. But this time I was just literally eating constantly and I feel great. Now, I'm not in a weight-governed sport. I'm a heavyweight, you know. I can, eat, I can come in as heavy as I want. So I'm not worried about what I look like in the mirror. I just look looking at performance in the gym, sparring, punching hard, endurance. That's all I focused on. Forget about aesthetics. You know, I'm not as ripped as I was three years ago, but I'm, a, I'm not injured. And that's that, that, that I can get into the ring in perfect condition, and that's what really matters. And beyond your regime and so on, the, in the wider sense, David, the appetite that David Hay has now to come back and right what went wrong last time round. How big does that burn in you? I've, I've had a long time to think about it. It was times when I didn't believe I could get back in the ring, when there were doctors saying that your right hand's never going to be the same again. And I thought, if I could somehow get another opportunity to do it, I would do it differently. And, and that's exactly what I've done. We're just going to pause, David, and we're going to go on to another microphone here. I've no idea about the technicalities of it, as you well know. <laughs> but we understand on this one, the audience here in the O2 Arena can join in the fun on Dave, and we'll, we'll continue with the, with the interview. So to, put, to the point, ladies and gentlemen, we have congratulated him for being back number one, but you've probably spotted that already tonight. So he says he's pleased with his work, and he's feeling good. So to the future now. These British rivals who have sprung up in your absence. Tyson Fury first. Tyson Fury is, uh, was pretty vocal about never wanting to fight me, but he's got to go back out to Germany to fight Vla uh, Vladimir again, so I don't worry, want to worry about him. Um, he's a great young fighter. Wait, no, wait. Yeah. on Fury, yeah. you have unfinished business. He says you let him down very badly, twice. You're going to have to settle it somewhere at some point, surely. I said I'll work my way up the rankings. He said even if I do so, he'll relinquish the belt. So why, why bother? Why not go for the bigger, bigger, better fights? I think a fight between myself and Anthony Joshua would be way bigger than a fight between me and Tyson Fury. He's unbeaten. He's had his whole career in the time I've been out. You know, you know so it, 
I believe that fight's a fight that can be made later on in the year. You know, if it, him and his team are interested, I'm in good shape. I'm punching hard. He's in fantastic shape, punch hard. He's young. I'm a little bit older. I think it'll make for a great, a great fight in uh, 2016. What do you think of Joshua? I think he's great. I think he's big, strong, uh, athletic. He punches hard, great amateur pedigree. He looks the part, you know, he ticks all the boxes. So that's the type of fights I want. That's what, that's what will get me up. That's what will get me excited. That's why I'm back in boxing, is for the big fights. I need that. I'd like to thank every single person here who've come out to support me tonight. Truly, it means the world to me. This is what I love to do, coming out here and fighting. This is, since I was 10 years old, this is, this is, this means everything to me, sir. For each and, one, each and every one of you, I love you and thank you very much. What do you think of Tyson Fury as a fighter? I think he's a good fighter. I think he's very good to go over there to Germany and do what, do what he did. It shows how, uh, how classy he is. Um, but it's just a shame he doesn't want to fight me. But I think we all know why he doesn't really want to do that. Um, when he sees a punch power like that, you know, not many heavyweights are going to want to get involved in that type of a situation. The new David Hay model with the extra weight, how, how would you fight against some of these bigger men in the division? The same way as that, just get inside, let my hands go, and connect these haymakers on their chin, and whoever it is, they're going down. Under new coaching, of course, this is the young man Shane McGuigan who's brought David Hay back to the big time, and that's a splendid performance. Congratulations to you. But how many does your man get out of 10 for that, in your opinion? You're not an easy young man to please, I know that. Um, I'd say it's a solid six or seven, you know. To come back after a three and a half year layout and to perform like that, um, no ring rust there, and shows all, all the hard work that we're doing in the gym. Has it been fun so far? You've had, what, four months together? Yeah, it's been fun. It's, David will tell you himself, it's been an uphill struggle, but you know, um, you know, we train very hard behind closed doors. Didn't make a big fuss out of it, out of it. and uh, he comes here and puts on a show like that. It's, uh, it's going to be a big statement for the heavyweight division. And what have you, as the trainer, got to work with in this man in terms of talent? Yeah, just, just keep him doing what he's doing. Keep, you know, work, brush on his defensive uh, skills a little bit, and uh, just keep his speed there. And you know, just keep him at this weight, but keep his speed there. And obviously, you're going to see the best out of him when his opposition goes up. You're a very busy man these days, aren't you? Because you're looking after Groves, you're looking after Carl Frampton, who's got such a big fight. How, how are you balancing it all? Uh, or does success breed success? Success breed success. They all bounce off each other and it's a great atmosphere in the gym. I'm just privileged to be part of it. Great talk with you, Shane. Many congratulations. Well done tonight. Back to you, David. Bigger picture. At the age of 35, what does David Hay now want to achieve? I want to unify the heavyweight division. You know, I, I set my plan out to do that many years ago um, and I fell short. I tried to come back against Derek Chisora and then get a world title fight. Unfortunately, I was hampered with injury, but you know, the new improved David, the haymaker, isn't, isn't, that guy, isn't that guy anymore. And I'm going to make a serious run at this heavyweight division. The title's all over the place at the moment, so I definitely take, it would take someone like me to, to clean it up, and I'm, I'm willing to do that. As I think you are aware, there has been the suggestion that you are coming back because of the money, that you've made a lot of money and a lot of it is gone. Is that true or not? No, I'd, I'd fight for free. You know, I'd, I'm in. It's not what I asked you. No, no, no. I'm fighting because if you look, when I got out of the the, the heavyweight division, it's after I beat Derek Chisora. I then unfortunately had was hampered with injury. My desire is exactly what it was the day after knocking out D uh, Derek Chisora. I was just unfortunately not able to get in the ring. I'm only now uh, uh, physically able to get in the ring and fight. So, but the ambitions, it's exactly the same as what it was when I was 10 years of age. It was quick tonight, but uh, it, with every respect, uh, I think we, most of us know in a, a little bit about boxing to know that you are entitled to one very easy job. Now, you think about Ricky Hatton trying to come back and he walked into what seemed completely the wrong fight and he paid for that so you've had your easy one what would you like to do next I'd, I'd enjoy enjoy the victory um, not too much though that's over not, not no more party much. David a couple, okay a couple of weeks couple of weeks and I'll be back look through the rankings see, see who's available see who's ready to come and fight there's one thing me wanting to fight some, someone there's another thing them accepting to come over here and fight me in this in this situation you know in the Lions the Lions Den they, they, they don't want that but we'll find, we'll find someone. Um, but I'm just happy to get this first hurdle out of the way. That was the most important one. This is, was always going to be the hardest fight for me after three and a half years out. The unknown. Was my timing going to be perfect? Was I going to be ring rusty? I think I answered everybody today. It's simply fantastic to have you back. 
Many, many congratulations. David Hay, ladies and gentlemen, Hay Day ahead. Okay, everybody, watch out for the Please rejoin us in.